Department of the Future is a very exciting project uh, that we use to encompass and showcase all the issues coming up. So the three, I would say the three main topics to talk about are one, artificial intelligence and how that's affecting everything from drone deliveries, you know, flying in to robots on the sidewalk, home automation, uh, the big battle coming up between Google, Apple HomeKit, and Amazon with its Alexa and Echo devices. I mean, they're trying to dominate everything inside the house from turning your blinds and lights or, or um, connecting everything inside it. Uh, and then number three is autonomous vehicles. Uh, that will have a huge impact because it will basically change the way we address uh, drop-off areas arriving to projects or to single-family homes. Uh, on big multifamily projects, it will mean re-imaging the way the projects are laid out. And from an urban scenario, the actual streets and sidewalks will have to be re-imaged too. The media spaces are changing too. Everything from when you greet it in, whether it's leasing or the amenity itself. I mean, again, AI changing everything. Uh, it used to be the old days of being greeted by a sales agent or somebody in front, a concierge or something being from nine to five are gone. You now have all this artificial intelligent robots coming in, uh, being 24 seven, and they sh have empathy, they'll answer your questions, they'll learn on the job. They're there 24 seven, obviously, helping you out. From, uh, from the actual uh, amenities themselves, we see them getting larger, and we see them getting more technological, even from the devices itself. They're moving outdoors, and there's a huge trend also on wellness centers and well-being, being yoga, spas, or, or zen look-like places. Demographics are changing too, so that's, that's a big change affecting us all, all the time. I mean, from the breakup of the traditional family, uh, and people more and more uh, households being single or two people, and units getting on one side smaller and we have to deal with affordability and and how to make all these units livable and compact and the whole trend about co-living you know and, and co-working and people living in smaller spaces to the opposite side of the spectrum all the empty nesters now they're moving from their home to a, a rental or a smaller space but they don't want to live in the 300 square foot micro unit they, they still want their bigger unit with the larger patios of size. So we see both sides of the spectrum. The smaller, the unit's getting real smaller for the younger demographics. And, and then you got on the other side, the empty nesters with the larger, larger size units.